Yeah. Hello, customer. Uh, this video will guide you how to replace the ball screw to the normal 8mm screw. Uh, currently, we change back to the uh, 8mm screw, which can achieve a little bit better uh, printing result. So, this video will show you this. Yeah. Okay, first we need to take off the top cover. Yeah, if you, uh, you I, I just take this out so it's easy for you to understand what I am doing. But for your printer, you need to do this thing on the printer. So you don't have to take this off, this uh, for the access. It can be stand on your printer. But you just take off the cover, outside cover, and then you can do what I am doing now. Okay, take off the full locking screw so that you can move. This will be a little bit tight. So, because we are using a very tight tolerance on the top, so you cannot pull it off. But, but, so what do you need to do? You can turn. You can turn, 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 turn the screw so the platform will read up. By this way, it can push Come on, push, push, push. Can you see the top? Yeah, yeah. Bingo, and never, never put this screw off because there are many balls inside. Okay, after the first step, you need to move down a little bit to protect the ball falling out. And you can keep this ball screw a uh, uh, in your stock, once you have the issue with the, a, the new screw, you can turn back. Okay, so you take off the, the bolts, the locking bolts for the platform locker. Okay, the second one. All right. Okay, the third one. Yeah, two to four. All right, be a little bit careful for the first one because it's a locking. It will, after you take off this one, you'll be free of your platform. It can move very easily. All right, turn it down or you need to lose the top belt, top locking belt for the ball screw here. You turn your hex wrench, all right, a little bit, so you can pull it very easily. Okay, we have take off this ball screw. Now, we have the 80 millimeter hex uh, screw in hand, which is a TR8 by four. Uh, dash 2P, which you can get from a, our website. And you invert this one. All right. Down. Get the screw into the hole. And it's very easy for you to pull it in because it's uh, already tuned. So you put it in and lock it. And the very beginning, you don't have to be very tight, but it must go to the very bottom. Make sure you push it down into the very bottom of this uh, coupler. All right, we finished this. Okay, we put it up. So there will be four hole. Uh, the bolts hole, you must match them and the lock the first one. First belt, don't lose the bush, bushing. Yeah, on the, yeah, on the, uh, on this belt, so lock it. Yeah, either one will be fine. And uh, you lock it, it don't have to be very tight. 
Never put it too tight, because you you may need to adjust it before we fully locking them. Okay, you match the hole and insert the second one, and you tight the the bolt. Alright, don't have to be very tight. Okay, the third one. As we know, the three points can determine the platform, the plane. So by this three, it will be very much a uh, perfect located. But don't forget the fourth one. All right, push the bushing back and invert and tighten it. Oh, don't have to be tight. Yeah, okay, let's one, tight a little bit. The second one, tight a little bit. The third one, tight a little bit. The fourth one, tight a little bit. Okay, yeah, now we need to check if the tension is all right, yeah. If we can move the platform easily, we, we, we turn the screw, turn the coupler. Oh, I see there will be a lot of the uh, lubricant, but you can use one of your paper to clean your hands and you turn it. Make sure it uh, can move, move freely. If you feel big fraction, you need to readjust the four bolts here. But from uh, here, I can tell it's easily moving down. Ah, at least we have to do this once to ensure a, the platform can move freely on track. Which means a, we are locking the screw very good. Yeah, I think it's uh, much easier now. The more we turn, it's easier we get. Push, push, push a little bit, it will be faster. Oh, All right, it's uh, yeah, yeah, we can move it easily to the very end of it so by this way it's uh it's, it's okay we need to tighten it we need to tighten them back tight it tight the four fully tight now it's a uh, light percent tight of the four locking screw now i move it up so i can tighten it more and also uh uh, install the top cover. Make sure you will raise it to the top. Uh, I know it's a little bit slow, but be patient. By this way, we can avoid the jam in future. If we do not uh, put this, uh, the track and also the screw in the same, uh, same line, uh, same center, centralized it will jam during printing or moving or lower the z-axis so this is a very critical uh, procedure to do okay it's almost to the top now we need a tight them four bolts 100 percent yeah Oh, this one is a little bit loose, but it's okay now. All right, okay. Third, okay, the fourth. All right, four of these screw with bushing are fully tightened. And now we need to install the top cover. Okay. Uh, it's also very with uh, very little tolerance. Okay, 
uh, lock the first one, the bolt. Okay, the second bolt. Yeah, the third bolt. Yeah. Okay, the fourth bolt. All right. So we can, you can tell, you can now you can move it up or down. Yeah. So congratulations. You have uh, re replaced the ball screw to the screw now. And you, you can reinstall your printer. Thank you for your watching.